Battlefield 3 is stated to be the real sequel to the award-winning game Battlefield 2. It is currently in development by DICE and will be published by Electronic Arts. There still isn't much known about this game. Speculations have been flooding the internet since the first announcement, and despite no screenshots, videos, or other details have been released, we will take a first look at the game. In this video, we will tell you what we know so far, so you can get an idea of what you can expect of it. We start with a little history. In 2007, the first rumors of Battlefield 3 showed up when a leaked document of the game was published by Digital Battle. The document contained tons of details regarding the new Battlefield game, namely the following. Battlefield 3 is set in the modern day, just like its predecessor, Battlefield 2. The game will ship with eight maps to start. The maps will be mostly urban and based on Middle Eastern locales. One of the maps would be called Baghdad Burning, a massive urban map, similar to Strike at Karkhan from Battlefield 2. There will be two playable factions, NATO, the Intergovernmental Military Alliance, and MEC, the fictional Middle Tri-Eastern Coalition, known from Battlefield 2. There will be five playable classes, Sniper, Assault, Engineer, Medic, and Support. The game will contain a total of 48 different vehicles and 34 weapons. There will be around 22 weapon unlocks and also different types of ammunition, armor, helmets, camouflage, and accessories. There will be a RPG-like customizable soldier feature known from Battlefield Heroes and Battlefield Play for free. Of course, these are just speculations and were leaked more than three years ago. We'll just have to sit the wait out until official details get unveiled. After this leak, EA and DICE responded to the rumors with a no comment. In the following months when you'd ask a DICE developer about Battlefield 3, they would simply respond with the same no comment, or tell you Battlefield 3 was nothing more than a myth. But then something happened. A new issue of PC Gamer released unveiling new info regarding Battlefield 3. In this article, they confirmed the soldier customization, classes, Battlefield 2-like squad system, and even the weapons and vehicles. Of course, this wasn't an official source, but the hype was on and the wait for Battlefield 3 started. In 2008, Ben Cousins, executive producer at DICE, had confirmed that the team was working on no less than five titles in its Battlefield franchise. These were the second Bad Company, the cartoony Battlefield Heroes, and the Korean exclusive Battlefield Online. Immediately, speculation started again, saying one of the other games would be Battlefield 3. But still, nothing got confirmed. Months passed by. Two other Battlefield games were announced and found their release, but still no word on Battlefield 3. Until that one day. During an interview with John Pleasance, former president of Electronic Arts, John confirmed the development. Um, I've had the luxury of looking at Battlefield 3 over at DICE in uh, Sweden and was highly impressed by the way the team is working on that product. Of course, that's not in the fiscal year, but that is a, that is, that is a product that's looking very good. Not short after that, Battlefield 3 was also confirmed by DICE's Vice President, Carl Magnus Trodsten, on Twitter. So Battlefield 3 was a fact now, but we would have to wait months until new information popped up. This happened in July 2010, as EA announced that purchasers of the limited edition and Tier 1 edition of Medal of Honor will receive an invitation to the beta of Battlefield 3. They also said the beta would be available within one year after the release of Medal of Honor, which released on October 12, 2010. After this, fans were waiting for every scratch of information they could get, but the developers kept their mouths shut. Hope raised when Gamescom 2010 approached, but despite an uplifting and slight statement by the Battlefield community manager, there was no sign of Battlefield 3. And in the last months of 2010, Hope raised again that EA would show something new at the Spike Video Game Awards. They even advertised in-game in Battlefield 2142, something they hadn't done for a very long time. But unfortunately, there wasn't any Battlefield 3 during the VGAs. The footage you see here is just a teaser of SSX Deadly Descents, blend in with the music of the Battlefield 2 intro. It turned out to be a joke. And then, in January, there finally came some more news. EA announced that Battlefield 3 won't be a PC exclusive anymore, and Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 owners will be able to play it too. 
The game will not support the Windows XP operating system. It also looks like there won't be a version for Mac OS X either, which was speculated a few years ago. After hearing this, most PC players got angry at DICE. They thought Battlefield 3 was going to be just another console port, and we all know how bad console ports can be. David Goldfarb, a designer at DICE, responded to this on Twitter, saying that they would do their best to make the PC version a special effort. According to a post on the Electronic Arts Forum by a DICE developer, the weapons will feel different and more accurate on the PC, and hopefully the interface will get improved too. He also says they absolutely don't want to let the PC version feel consoleized and give extra attention to this platform. Johan Anderson, rendering architect at DICE, goes even further, saying they created several versions of the Frostbite engine, so it runs smoothly on all platforms. And DICE CEO Frederick Lulgren says Battlefield 3 is going to blow everyone away. In late 2010, one of the designers of Battlefield 3 posted a tweet with speculations on a flamethrower, but this probably relates to the recent release of Bad Company 2 Vietnam, which has this weapon. Another reason why he probably isn't really talking about Battlefield 3 is because this game is most likely set in the modern day, and since the army nowadays doesn't use flamethrowers anymore, it wouldn't be so realistic. At this year's Game Developers Conference, DICE's Kenny Magnuson and others will talk about the Frostbite engine and some of the difficulties that the studio faced in creating the lighting for Battlefield 3. In the description on the GDC website, they spoil that the talk will also be about destruction, what possibly means that Battlefield 3, just like its predecessors, will also feature a destructional environment. GDC 2011 will be held from February 28 till March 4th. A lot of people speculated about the release date of Battlefield 3. At first, most people thought it would be out in 2008, but now an estimated release date has finally been given by EA CEO John Riccatello. In an interview in 2010, he said we can expect Battlefield 3 to come out in the second half of this year. This isn't confirmed by DICE or any other group, and it isn't in EA's release calendar of 2011. But since it's the CEO of EA, it seems to be a pretty reliable source. He also pointed out we could expect more information about Battlefield 3 in the upcoming months. And we end this video by summarizing everything that has been confirmed about Battlefield 3 so far. Battlefield 3 is going to be a true sequel of Battlefield 2. It uses the Frostbite engine and most likely features the same destructional environment as Bad Company 1 and Bad Company 2. The game features a very nice environment and an improved lighting system. Battlefield 3 will not be PC exclusive. It will also be releasing for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Windows XP is not supported. There will be a beta before October 12, 2011. DICE will put special effort into the PC version, but we can expect more info and media later this year. And that's all the info we got so far. Make sure to check back to Gamerspawn in the next months for new updates on Battlefield 3. Twitter, and don't forget to visit our Facebook page.